Hey everybody, what's up, what's new, what's blue? Leave it down in the comments down below because I would like to know how you guys are doing today. Welcome to day five of the 200 crunch challenge. Before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know that I have some excellent news. I got a job and it is absolutely fantastic. I can work from home, which means I can stay home and uh, keep up with the uh, cleaning of the house, uh, taking care of everything and helping my hubby out and everything like that. So it is fantastic because I can work remotely from home so I can focus on my family life, my school life, and my work life all in the same area, which works. So happy. Anyways, as I said, day five of the five, er, uh, not 500, sorry, 200 crunch challenge. Oh my gosh, I almost messed up on myself there. Anyways, so I don't know what time I'm going to be getting a phone call from my boss. So we're going to jump right into the video. First things first, I'm going to show you my day five stomach. Just the front. And the other side. I absolutely feel like I'm starting to get muscle underneath the extra skin, so all I'm really trying to do is lose this last little bit of extra skin that kind of flops. But other than that, it's fantastic. Okay, so another thing that I want to bring up before we begin this video is... Uh, yesterday I uh, realized that closer to the end of the video, um, it kind of got a little bit more tricky, but uh, the first like six crunches was rather easy. So I'm hoping that today is a little bit easier than it was yesterday. Um, day two and three was rather difficult. Day one was perfect, like I had no issues on day one. <clears throat> but yeah, day two and three got a little bit trickier. And then day four, it started off nice and smoothly, and then it started getting a little bit trickier. So let's hope that today is a win-win for everyone and that we do flawlessly the entire time. So without further ado, I'm going to put you in the spot that I normally put you, and we are going to start. As always, starting off the regular crunch. Remember to keep that core nice and tight and keep yourself on a fixed spot on the ceiling and start. Next one. Reverse crunch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, remember with this one, you keep yourself on a fixed point, like the corner that goes between the wall and the ceiling. Keep yourself on that fixed point. Each time you do two, it counts as one. Nice and tight. And one, two, three, four. Next one, keep those arms nice and straight. And if they go like that, that's totally fine. But try to get yourself touching your toes. Be sit like this. Last but not least, the plank. Phenomenal. <sighs> I'm getting faster with the crunches, which is really good. <laughs> I mean, day one took a while. Day two and three took a little longer. Day four took a little bit, but this time around, I finished all the crunches in nine minutes, whereas normally, it takes me about
12 minutes or so, 11 or 12 minutes to complete the crunches. So obviously I'm improving in strength, which is really good. I'm improving in speed, which is even better. So we're doing phenomenal. Anyways, that is all I got for you for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you did, leave a friendly comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for day six. Bye.